What up, everybody? How's it going out there in the YouTube world? My froggers and froggettes, tadpoles. So I want to talk to y'all today about Warhammer, ninth edition still, not tenth yet. So list building. I don't have this list. This is a just a I want list. But um, what I want to talk to you is this. This is called Battle Scribe, right here. Battle Scribe helps you out with the list building. Um, so we're going to go ninth edition because tenth doesn't here yet. The list building I want to do today is Astra Militarum, aka Imperial Guardsman. I do have a wish list for Amazon in about me page on my channel here uh, if you want to like to know more like to see me do more of these list building of what I would like you know and what I've seen just let me know in the comments please if you like this like it subscribe all right let's go with Astra Militarum I can find them <laughs> now this doesn't help with command point stuff if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, command point stuff is the like barking orders. This is just a 2000 point or power level list building. Uh, we're going to go unbound army. Unless you find otherwise seems to fit yours a lifestyle. Alright, so HQ. Of course you want to HQ. You know, uh, HQ's headquarters, your commando guy bark orders you know he helps out they have a variety of stuff man let me tell you Whew. um i would go with the command squad and a psyker that way you get like spell mind spells off and not really spells though they're more like telekinesis kind of thing so I got my command squad and my psyker you see that there my troops last guns man last guns with the Cadian shock troops you know um but me I would love jungle fighters though but, you know, I think they're doing away with them from what it sounds like. So we're just going to go over with the regular shock troops. If you hit the button, see like this. So one times, right? It's only 10 man squad. So let's get a bunch of them. You can put two squads and one make it 20 man, you know. Uh, these guys, they're cheap price. So you might want a lot of them. Uh, so what I got here now is two, three, four, five. I got six of the ten. I would knock that down and do twenty, like three twenty men, maybe, maybe more. Who knows? It's going to be about sixty to eighty. Um, and that comes to roughly with the command squad and your psyker. Is going to come out to 525 points. Now you see the points. They're up here at the top. Which is good. Then you got all this list still to go through. Um, elites. You know, I'm not big on the elites. If I had to do though, I would take three elites. Three Bulgrons. That's nine Bulgrons. I think I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Or you could take two Bulgrons and a Commissar. Commissar. Sorry. Commissar. Um, which I've seen. I would go with three Bulgrons. Yeah, they are pricey. A little bit. Uh, but they're big, bad, tough guys. Um, fast attack. I actually like the Sentinels. 
but you can do like the sentinels uh, they're pretty cheap so they're like 45 points 40 points if they're a scout but armored sentinels you want to go like three of them they're 45 points each I know I'm weird <laughs> just for that chainsaw you know you get in the melee combat hack and slash the heavy support now this is the main one and whoo there's a lot to list in Astra Militarum Imperial Guardsmen um the basic list I would go with um the Hydra There's a heavy weapon team that I would go with. There's Manticore. There's the Lehman Russ, which is awesome, and Imperial Guardsman. I would go with them mainly. You don't have to just follow it. See what we up to. Alright. So with the three sentinels three Lehman Rust battle tanks three sets of Bulgrons and six troops which is 60 they come and the two HQ comes up to 1395 so far so we still got a lot to work with um we definitely want a flyer so nowadays most people do the fly thing Now that depends on you, what kind of game you're running, what kind of, what you want to do. I would go with the gunship, but that's a little bit of points, you know. There's a Valkyrie. You're only allowed two flyer units, though, per person. So keep that in mind. All right, now we're up to 1675. There's also dedicated transports. Now the Chimera, I would go with. I'm sorry. I'll take three of those. Put my Guardsmen in. Call it a day. Now, here's the bigger question, because I do want a Bane Blade right so that would put us over 2400 points if I went with all of this stuff three tremors Bane blade Valkyrie three lemon Russes Armored Sentinels now you don't have to do this list this is just my opinion so what I would take off I would take off one of the Lehman Russes, remove one Sentinel. So we have two Sentinels, two Lehman Russes, and take off one more Chimera. The, that Bing Blade is expensive in point, um, but it's big, bad, dude. All right, I'll take another. I'll take off one of your flyers. So you have one flyer. All right, now you have 1975 points. You have two HQs, 60 troops, three Bulgarons, three units of each. So that's nine Bulgarons, two armored, armored Sentinels, Two Lehman Russ, you can decorate them however you want. Uh, put the big battle cannon on there. Two Tremors, one Bane Blade. So we got one, two, yeah, about five tanks in there and one flying unit. You got like 35 points to work with, so you can make like your Psyker. Your command squad, you know, a little bit better. 
adding something else in there. Master of Ordnance, you know, Master of the Fleet, Field, um, stuff like that. But that's all up to you. And then when you're done, you see it tells you right up there the power level and the point system. So that is my list building. You don't have to follow this. This is just me. Um, I would love to try this one day against the guys. I just might take out that other Valkyrie and put the three Lehman Russ up there. All tanks. Yep. There we go. Alright. So I took out the Valkyrie. Put all tanks pretty much. And that's what you're working with. Hopefully if you partner with someone else. You know. If you have a 4,000 point battle. You and somebody else can partner up. And he'll probably have the firepower up in the air. Who knows. Alright guys, I'm sorry I've been rambling on here, but this is just my list building. Um, thanks to Battlescribe, it's easier for you. And if you're not sure about something, there's a little red dot right here. Uh, right there. There's a little red dot. And it will help you out. It says, one too many selections of detachment command costs. So when you do that, you'd be like, okay, I want the uh, command cost be this and this. All right. But this is the best app to have. All right. So that's what it looks like right there. That little thing right there. That's called Battle Scribe. So 10th edition will be coming out soon. I believe next year. Uh, I know they got some new stuff coming out too for them. Um, so, let me know if you like that list building. Um, I've seen a guy do nothing but infantrymen at a tournament. And he did pretty good. It's like he took 300 men or something. But can you imagine all that pain? <laughs> putting together a painting it's crazy I know I rambled on too much out here guys so I'm sorry um yeah please like hit that like subscribe button if you haven't already helps me out a lot helps the YouTube algorithm out I'm trying to get up there you know where I'm monetized but slow process but it's all good I still love all you guys. You guys have been great to me. And remember, know that you are loved. Know you're awesome and amazing people. And keep being amazing. With that being said, I'm out of here. All right, everybody. Love you. Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye.